In this video, I'm going to show you how you can track the amount of time spent on each job with barcodes. So in this, we have barcodes, the start time, the end time, and then the, the total time, the, the different start and end time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to key in 3333 here and press enter, and I automatically get my start time. Now it automatically goes back to my um, barcode scanning cell. So I can scan in another number or I can scan in um, the same number again. So let's scan in another number. Let's scan in 4444. And so there we have the two in the row. So now let's say that we're finished with 3333. So let's scan that. And so there we go. Not only do we have the start and the end time, we have the total time here. And look at the bottom here. We have created a new sheet. And on that sheet, we have uh, the the time that for this 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 item's time and the, the total time, the running total. So now let's go back and track 333 three, three again. And you know what? We've finished 4444, four, 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 so let's enter that in here. And there we go. Then we have a sheet um, automatically, and it says our 4444 four, four, four here time. Now let's go back to our tracking and let's go back to our cell and let's put in the end of 3333. Three, three, three. So we have two, two times for 3333. Three, three, three. And so now let's go look at the total on 3333. Three, three, three. And there we go. It's the total, it has um, its total, we had 39 seconds on the first one and 34 seconds on the second, and it has a running total going here. So now, you know, if you were going to bill out your time to a customer or, or something, you know that you could bill out the one minute and 13 seconds. So let me show you the code for this. The first thing I'm going to show you is the, the code that is on the sheet itself, on the tracking sheet. So double click that. And so this, this is what is on the tracking sheet. This is so that when I enter the number, it automatically calls my first, my first program here. So this needs to be uh, inserted into the sheet itself. Now let's go to the module. Now it's calling access and the module, let's go here. And so access, I declare a bunch of values. Um, I declare the end row, worksheet equals sheet one barcode equals the cell that we've just entered and if barcode doesn't equal and is not blank then with worksheet from a to ten thousand set range find what barcode is looking for the barcode um the search order by rows if the range is nothing then you go and then you just enter the barcode so it's just active selling barcode and then it's putting in the time okay if range is not so here we go and it's saying if uh, the row number in the third column, which is um, which is the end time, if that's not blank, then what you're going to do is you're going to go by row number to the, the row number that you're on to the end row, and then you're going to check for a blank one. Now, if they de they don't find um, a blank one, then you're going to go to restart, so you can. You'll enter a whole new line with the barcode and the time. Okay, so um, if they do find, uh, if it does find a value with one that's blank there, then what it's going to do is it's going to go and select that sheet, and then it's going to offset by two and put the end time in here, and then it's going to calculate the time. The, it, it has calculated time in as the column two, time out as the column three, and then it calculates the difference between the time out and the time in, and then it calculates those times. And then we have it multiplied by 24, so we get times that looks like the time we want. Now, here we're calling total hours, and we're bringing with it the barcode and the total. The total is the time that we have calculated here. 
And so now let's go to the total hours. What it's doing um, here is that if if the worksheets for the worksheets, what it's doing is checking for the worksheets. And if there is a worksheet that is named barcode, then exist, then go to already. But if there isn't one that's named that, what it does is it names one of the worksheets barcode. And then what it does is it sets in the information. And so it, it's putting in the time and the total time and it's formatting it like this. Then um, if it's already there, then what it goes to on that sheet is it, it finds that sheet and it goes to the last row. And then it answers the value uh, and formats the value. And then it uh, adds up the, the, the running total column at the end there. And then it formats that there. We I will, of course, include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.